Hey gang, Bison here. I'd like to do a quick video today just uh, showing you guys the Bear Grylls survival bracelet unraveled and uh, my opinions on it. I've gotten a few requests about unraveling and how to take it apart, put it together. I did do one briefly on that, but this one is really what it looks like unraveled and its functionality. So this is the way the Bear Grylls bracelet looks when you purchase it. Nice version of the Cobra Stitch. Looks very nice and thick. It looks like you have a lot of cordage to work with in a survival situation. And on the back it tells you you have 12 feet of power cord to use in survival situations. Now, when I make a survival bracelet, I like to make one of this thickness for a true survival situation, not just for an accessory to wear, uh, you know, like a piece of jewelry. Um, the bracelets I make, which would be for a true survival situation, which I would wear in the field, not, you know, just every day as a regular bracelet, is made of one single piece of parachute cord. Now this bracelet I made has a nice whistle on it. I, I make these personally and for friends. I don't make it professionally. I don't sell them, so please don't ask. It is just about exactly the same thickness of the Bad Girl Survivor bracelet. It is a much tighter weave. Um, this is probably about 15 to 17 feet of parachute cord, one straight piece of cord. It's not broken up and other pieces fused together because that's how you make the multicolored uh, bracelets when you fuse the two pieces of colors together so you don't have one true piece of power cord that is strong. For example, I made my own version of the Bad Girls bracelet a while ago and this is two pieces of parachute cord. It's the gray fused together with a piece of orange. And I also found an REI and orange and black whistle to kind of go with it. So I thought that was kind of cool. I've also made myself a small version just to wear as a bracelet. And it's about 10 feet of parachute cord divided in two five foot pieces. So with that being said, when I unraveled the Bear Grylls bracelet, this is what I discovered. It is made up of three separate pieces of parachute cord. The first piece which is the orange, which is fused together, if you can see it right there, with the gray. And that piece is six foot, 10 inches long. So what that means is you have about, you know, three, two separate three and a half pieces of parachute cord. And then the final piece is a separate piece of parachute cord which is 4 feet 11 inches. So based on the measurements of my bracelet, uh, it is not a true 10 feet, it is shy of 3 inches. So mine is 11 feet 9 inches when you ma ma uh, measure all the cordage. Now the question is, in a survival situation, is this useful? Sure. It's useful for making mini snares. It's useful for breaking up the inner core and using the inner pieces for repairs, snares, maybe a fishing line. Um, I don't know gang, give me your comments and opinions on it. I really prefer a true survival bracelet out in the field to be one complete length of cordage um, and then you can cut it up um, as needs because with, with three separate pieces like this it would be difficult to use for rigging a shelter um, and to use I don't know in a situation if you need to climb down something or tow something or what have you um, so I mean again the three pieces are useful for minimal things but again I would love one solid piece to cut up as needed if I had to that's my opinion on it. So it does have uses. It's not as functional as a true custom made single length run of parachute cord for a bracelet. 
Um, we've seen Bear wearing this bracelet on Get Out Alive, and on YouTube you can find episode one, the pilot of Escape from Hell with Bear Grylls, which already aired on October 7th in the UK. It's pretty cool. I find it a little boring because it breaks up into several scenes, and he's telling a story and kind of reenacting it. And you see him wearing this on the show as well. Honestly, guys, I mean, all right, it's got a whistle. It's got some cordage. I think this is more of a of a decoration to wear like a bracelet for show and isn't truly 100% functional in a survival situation. But it does have its uses. So that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys and girls think out there. I'd like to hear your opinions on it. And, uh... I'll be back soon with a comparison video of the original Bear Pack 25 by Craig Hoppers in comparison to the new Bear Pack, uh, that the Pathfinder that's out now. That's supposed to be the same bag. Alright gang, thanks for watching. Bison out.